Hi everyone, Gray Power 60 here. Oh, sorry, like the third time I tried this. Today I just wanted to share before the weekend uh, a f things that I've made and I do have videos on them that I've done and I thought I would share some with you. I'll do the two Christmas ones that I have. So I made, um, I didn't make, I have a uh, miniature wreath with all the little trimmings. I hope you can see that with the glare, sorry. Um, and then I also included a little chocolate Santa here, but I've got all of the little, like a bells and a little candy cane and uh, some ribbons in there somewhere. I can see it there. <laughs> Um, and this is what I was selling or going to sell at uh, craft fairs if I had participated, but I didn't. But I thought this was a really cute little kit for anyone, actually. And the other thing, the other little kit was, and again, I added a little um, chocolate sucker thing. And this is a snowman outfit that you can put together with a little hat, the scarf, um, some pom-poms, some sticks, and all you need is just a black marker or something to put it together. So those were two of the Christmas things that I had made. I think I have videos. I'm not sure. Um, the other thing that I created, that I made, I haven't finished it. I didn't put a topper on it or anything. Um, but this is just one of those burlap bags that came in a package. I think there was three or something. And I saw somebody do this. Um, and you can also hang it up. Um, and all I did was stuff it with some stuffing and I added some garland there and you can hang it up like that. You can also, you know, kind of, just a second, Oop, low battery, oh gosh. I'm on low battery. And you could put that together here. So let me uh, get my camera fixed here. Okay, I've got it plugged in, hopefully. Um, at the time, I didn't have a bag big enough. I do have bigger bags where I can put that in a bag. You can also, um, when you do these kind of things, if you decide to do something like this, is in the stuffing, you can add some essential oils like peppermint or um, some kind of evergreen scent for and making this something really nice to hang in your closet or wherever you'd like. So that was another thing that I had made. Um, now I made these for um, different occasions and I think this one was also a Christmas one. Um, holiday wishes and it's a little I call it a little purse, whoops, sorry guys, a little purse. And inside you put a little chocolate bar and you can hang that on a gift or you can hang it on your tree. I use uh, Velcro to close it. And I just love these little purses. I just thought these were really, really cute. And I made another one here, gingerbread houses and sweet smelling things savor the joy the holiday brings. And again, this one, I just put one Velcro on it. And again, another Hershey chocolate bar. So these are the kind of, oops, I'm, I'm, in, a ha I'm in an awkward position here. Okay, what are some of the other things I did? I just wanted to share some things that I made. Um, for Halloween, I made this little box. And inside I put a vellum little circle there so you could see what candy or whatever you wanted to put in there. 
and it just has ghostly groans as a little sentiment on there. And I didn't really decorate it much because I was going to use ribbon around it for, you know, giving gifts out. Sorry, I got the window open. Um, I have a video coming out on how was your day. I had a very bad day today. So hopefully you'll see that before you see this. Anyway, this is Witch's Brew and I put it on uh, pop dots to give it some to give it some dimension and these are one of these um, you can put lipstick in there or you can put chapstick of some kind in there so I also made that I'm, I'm sure I did that on video I also made tons of tons of these little um, scatter packaging gray power 60 gifts paper products embellishments and accessories and these are all Halloween and I've shown these before on videos and I made them too late last year to be able to send them out to anyone so if anybody's interested I could send you out one now I use stickers and again in order to get the back um, not sticky. A trick is to just take some talc or whatever you have. I usually use some kind of baby powder and you rub it along there until the stickiness is gone and it's no longer sticky. So it still sticks on there, but the top part is not sticky. So I've got some with all kinds of different ones. I have had a lot of these. These have got bats in them and and uh, spider webs and kind of orangey things, stars and so on. Anyway, let me know if anybody's interested in receiving one of those. I also made some embellishment packages. Again, I was going to sell these. So um, I may have shown you all these before, but I'm gonna show you again. Here are some more. Sorry for the glare. I wonder if I turn that off, it'll make any difference in the, because it's getting later. Let's try this. How's that, guys? I hope it's not too dark. But I made different embellishments and I just packaged them up. Here's one with two little hearts and a bigger one with some, with a little, I love making these uh, fans. And then here's another one with a fan and a heart. Best day ever. I made those. And all of these, let's get some of these out of the way. I don't have a lot of room anymore. And then these are some uh, tea bag scented sachets. And um, from some people who are a little concerned, I put warning not for drinking and the ingredients, essential oils and baking soda. So that tea bag scented sachets is what I called it. And I made those. And then I made these flower paper clips. And then I made these little um, flags. And this is another little scented sachet. I haven't put anything on that. Here's some more paper clips and some more flower paper clips. So that is what I wanted to share with you today. I gotta sit down. <laughs> I had to clean my mom's room. It was awful, awful. Before she went to bed and she went to bed early. So that is some of my goodies that I made last year or the year before. And I just wanted to share them with you. I have a great idea for this. Um, this Dear Santa letter. I want to make a bunch of copies. So I'm going to have to, because I can't find any more of these, I'll probably be able to find them later on. Um, I'm going to scan it and print it off so that I'll have 
There's no uh, company copyright on these, so I'll be able to use it and make some fun uh, kid packets. I had purchased a little while ago. I can't remember how many is in here. Two, four, six, twelve. Twelve packages of these crayons. And I thought that would be cute to put with that to make a really cute um, kids pack. And that could be for craft fairs. It could be for selling online. It could be for gifting to kids that I, my grandkids and the kids that I know. So that is it for me for today. I just wanted to come on and share on this Friday morning. Um, some of my ideas that would have been fun to try and sell. Um, I do have some videos on all of these. So if you want to look any of those up, you can. And I'm so tired. <laughs> so thanks for joining me, guys. Um, these are some of my ideas I'm going to be doing in the next little while. I tried putting something together here, but I didn't like it. And that was this wreath. It's one of the small wreaths that I had. Um, I'm not fussy on it at all. <laughs> so it'll probably go in the trash or go somewhere. Who knows where. Or I might just take it apart and try something else. But anyway, guys. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.